final, please welcome onto Pat Rafter Arena, world number four, Naomi Osaka. She's showing flashes of the form that shot her to Aussie Open glory last year. Can Naomi Osaka keep finding the answers down under? And put your hands together for world number two, Karolina Pliskova. Karolina Pliskova clearly feels at home here. A two-time champion of this event and defending her title, she will take some stopping. Well, it should be a fascinating affair, this one. We have had one semi-final already, which required three sets, and well, in the end, it was Madison Keys who got the job done, but uh, who can join her there as we uh, take a look at the Pat Rafter Arena. This is the state of play. Madison Keys safely into that final. It's down to either the number three or the number two seeds to uh, join her in tomorrow's final. Osaka had to fight hard Tell me this in the is great final. The coin toss today. Three can sets we please required. take a photo before the coin toss in that direction? Thank you. Okay, ladies, just a couple of reminders. Uh, we have TV changeovers. If you want a challenge, please use your voice. If you want your coach, also please say coach. And we have the shot clocks in the corners behind me and there, I think. Any questions? Questions? No. Craig, who would you like to ask? Heads or tiles? Heads. Heads? Ooh, good one. It's tails. Sir? You stay? Looked as if uh, Osaka won the, the toss and will uh, serve first here at the Queensland Tennis Centre inside the uh, wonderful Pat Rafter Arena, which has seen some really good crowds this week. And once again today, here on this semi final Saturday, that is no difference. There's plenty of fans are milling around the grounds as well. Mikey Prera in the commentary box for the uh, semi finals today. Alongside me, Naomi Cavaday. And uh, well, where do you see this one going there? Do you know, it's really difficult, isn't it? I mean, they're, they're both a couple of the biggest strikers around. We've had a big hitting day so far, <laughs> and we're going to get plenty more of it in this semi-final. So if power is your thing, you're going to see an awful lot of it. But um, it's just all about who has their range, who has their zone in. The biggest question mark for me will be Pliskova's first serve, how effective it was. It wasn't actually that effective in her quarterfinal matchup yesterday. So. Uh, you know, that will be the one thing that she needs to get right against a calibre of player like Osaka. And I just think based on what we saw in the quarterfinals, I think Osaka's maybe got the edge, but really, it's who brings Three their A-game. Yeah, both these players, their A-game is usually too strong for their opponent, but if they both bring it, well, who knows where it's going to end up. And we did see some uh, big hitting in the first semi-final. I'm sure we'll see the same again. So Pliskova, well, if she can serve well, she's going to have a big chance. The uh, the champion here in 2017 and then last year as well. And clearly, it's a place that she enjoys starting her seasons. 15 titles in her career has been world number one. She finds herself at world number two right now. And just looking ahead to the uh, Aussie Open, do you think Pliskova has a, a big chance? I think she's always got a chance, as I say. I mean, her A game is just absolutely huge. She has gained so much experience. She's becoming more and more disciplined, more consistent with her performances out there. I mean, finishing world number two, four titles last year, her strongest year so far. I know she has reached number one before, but just in terms of bringing that level, there just weren't many dud matches from her last year, which is new for her. So huge progress. She's always a threat. Miriam Blake, the yeah, chair umpire for this second semi-final. Of course, it's a big week for the umpires as well, getting back up to speed with everything. They have the off-season as well. As we uh, see the head-to-head -head between uh, these two players, this is their fifth meeting. And they did meet uh, in Australia last year. In the uh, Aussie Open semi-final, big semi-final it was. Osaka coming through in three sets. 
other meetings. Tokyo in 2018, Christopher winning that one. Also 2018, Indian Wells Osaka winning that. Their first ever meeting was in Toronto when Fishkova uh, came through. One minute. Ladies and gentlemen, this Looking match forward to this. will be the best of three tie-break sets. It really could produce fireworks. Second army won the toss, Charles to serve. Temperature 27 degrees centigrade. It's a little bit cooler than it has been for the rest of the week. And uh, Osaka did win the toss. And we'll serve first. I actually think the temperature is a bit lower. The humidity is a bit higher today. So we did see in the first semi final, Kavita were actually struggling a bit physically late on. And some of the fans, ice creams there behind Karolina Pliskova. That's a good idea on a day like this in the Aussie summer. Osaka using all the time that she has at her disposal. It is a mouth-watering semi-final. Sit back and enjoy. The number three seed, Naomi Osaka, takes on the number two seed, Karolina Pliskova. The winner will take on Madison Keys in tomorrow's final. Osaka is in no rush here. Here we go then. Excellent Third crowd set. in to enjoy this one inside the Pat Rafter Arena. What can the defending champ produce once again? Play. is flying already we will see plenty of them all round and both of these players just need to really have an understanding and an acceptance that they may not be dictating all the time in this match it's gonna be a bit of a tussle for it as long as they can maintain the control on their own service games then I think they'll be pretty happy with the track that they're on Well, Naomi Osaka has gone the long way round to get to this semi-final. She's had three three-setters so far this week. Maria Sakari, Sophia Kennan and Kiki Bertens all going the distance, those matches. Game Osaka. Okay. Yeah, it really has been hard work, hasn't it? But it just goes to show the standard here at, at this event. I mean, the players that she's playing I mean, in an opening match against Sakari, that's pretty rough in terms of playing an unseeded player. And then Sophia Kennan, Kiki Burton, I mean, everybody in form had fabulous finishes to the end of last year. So there's just so many dangers around. Even when you're at the top of the game, like these two, such high ranking, so experienced. But I think. 
that experience <laughs> means that they're ready always for their opponents to play their best tennis. And already a threat looming. Did mention that the effectiveness of Pliskova's serve was probably the only area causing her issues in the last match. That isn't something that she's used to. Very effective. Champion 12 months ago, beating uh, Lesia Sorenko in the final. 2017, she uh, beat Elise Corne in that final. Very one-sided, that particular final in 2017. Six love, six three. On to level terms. One game. Furious, isn't it really this matchup? Talked about the firepower that they both have, and okay, Plitschko's got one of the biggest serves in the game, but Osaka gets an awful lot of free points. And really, as soon as Osaka can get Plitschko on the stretch into the corner, they just see she's a little off balance, had to just try and block it back. She's the, the heavy favourite. You know that Pliskova can struggle a little in the corners, and Osaka will just pile the pressure on as the point moves forward. players with uh, new coaching teams for the new season. What do you make of the appointment of uh, Wim Fazette for Naomi Osaka? I think it's fascinating, really. I mean, he's he, uh, Osaka's a very different player to the ones that he has worked with before. I mean, he's been incredibly successful on lots of slams with lots of different players. So that's uh, exactly the sort of thing she's looking for. How that goes. And Osaka with a very quick service game. Leads the way. Two games to one at this early stage 
of this opening set. Wonderful year she had last year, Pliskova. Four titles to her name. Her most successful season. Fifteen. And she got it done on every surface. I mean, Brisbane and Zhengzhou were the hard court titles. Rome on the clay, big title there, and uh, Eastbourne on the grass. was so impressive wasn't it and and that was uh, you know the, the fact that she could win so many titles on all the different surfaces the consistency of performance I mean, we, we always know that if she goes on a, a tear it's it can be pretty devastating so she's always been picking up titles and big ones at that 14. but to so consistently produce and to effortlessly adapt to all different surfaces to deal with the pressure in finals it was uh, you know, just an extraordinary year for her game finish come on nicely done Two and similarly to Osaka earlier in the year pretty much I mean okay she wasn't at her highest point she has been number one in the world and she was number two at the time but I would say at the best point in her career, splitting with coach Conchita Martinez. And, uh, Osaka did a similar thing after winning her second slam, splitting with uh, Sasha Bayin. Yeah. Now in the Pliskova corner, we've got Olga Savchuk and Danny Valverde. Danny Valverde's new for this season, new to the WTA Tour as well. Yep. But of course, the tours are so intertwined. He's been around, <laughs> seen plenty. And Olga has been a uh, part of the Pliskova camp for a fair while. Oh. Both players pretty comfortable on their serve at the moment, so pretty light work. Bullseye. 
races through another service game. And the Japanese star leads the way. 3 2. So just serving it, set three two down here, please give it. She has never successfully defended any of her 15 WTA titles. Could she change that this week, this weekend? wasn't there of a uh, potential change to this part of the season in terms of the schedule moving forward in years <laughs> you ask her Pliskova she said uh, no no keep it the same <laughs> quite quite happy starting my year in Brisbane yeah, you can understand why she's won two of the uh, last three editions of this tournament nice way to kick things off we're witnessing some fabulous serving here from both really executing well and as I said that was the one question mark for Pliskova if she couldn't find that effectiveness on first serve I couldn't really see a way for her to win this match but she's come out firing with it in the match against Alison Risk yesterday I mean she, she barely had an easy service game I mean there's one or two in there but she was always under pressure that juice 30 all always having to to fight her off and a lot of that credit to risk the returning was excellent but that's what I meant about that effectiveness here playing Naomi Osaka and she's rattling through winning to love very good whatever you can do I can do This game is a hold to love, it'll be the fifth in a row. Looking really sharp out here. 
And this is the first event of the season for them and just been building through the week. Everybody just wants matches, but this is a very high level. Let's fire back there with some interest. It's a rare point one on return. Game of Time's a bow on another. Swiftly done. And there is very little separating these two so far. Surf dominant, certainly. It's been very impressive. Osaka 4 3. It's turning into a, an interesting head-to-head -head between these two. Of course, they've played four times before. They've both won two each. Who's going to sneak ahead in this rivalry? Lovely. Osaka's looking really focused here today. Looks like on the whole, except uh, when she's getting ace like that, she's, I suppose, kind of enjoying the pace from Pliskova from the back of the court. Once she's kind of in that rally, she's redirecting it really nicely, adding some of her own. Phenomenal serving. That's the biggest issue playing Pliskova, isn't it? You can play unbelievable tennis. If you can't get a racket on the ball, no one's going to see it. Game <laughs> How's that for a game? Goodness me. Four games on. She's got some rocket fuel in that serve. I reckon Camp Pliskovic just spent a little bit of extra time this morning or yesterday after her match, just firing a few serves, getting it smooth. Because it is completely different to what we saw in the quarterfinal. Oh. 
Fine, hitting again. Saka looking really strong there behind those shots, not getting knocked off balance, even with the pace of to deal with. Covered. Did well just to anticipate that. That's a dimension of her game that has just so improved over the past couple of years. That front court. And here's the big moments of the first set. It is a break point. Excellent play on a pressure point, coming up with some wonderful clean striking. Yeah, I think if you're in the Pliskova box, you've got to be nodding and clapping and saying great effort, good clean striking to depth, really asked all the questions and more. Osaka holding up huge resilience. Yes. Wow. Got to be so careful going back behind Pliskova. She does just tend to hang out in the corner where she is. And if she's got a strike on it, I mean, look at that. Pretty much doubled over. Just trying to stay upright hitting it. Launched it. There we 
they go again. This is some supreme hitting. Now look to the skies from Osaka. When Pliska was feeling like this, it, she actually becomes more aggressive because she's like, right, I've got my range in. I'm feeling good. I'm sharp. I'm dealing with everything Osaka's throwing at me. So whew, let's just let her rip on a few forehands. It's been the toughest service game so far. Under some pressure here. Oh. And it goes. Osaka passes that test. And it was Osaka quite a, a considerable test. Pushkova was pressing hard there, couldn't find the break. So can she level things up here? Love it. Oh dear, Love couple of double faults in a row after such impressive serving. Where has that come from? I could only imagine the effect of the last game having those opportunities, which didn't really feel like they were going to come and playing so well and being unable to convert. Maybe that's playing on her mind, but she's served brilliantly so far. Let's listen. Thank 
30 on them. The trouble is, when you get a love 30 against Pliskova, it's not the same as a love 30 against other people. It's, it's not the same size of opportunity. You're almost always starting one point down. A couple of big serves. to ramp it up now back end of this first set both know that they're playing well enough to come through this match let's get it on through Osaka is going to challenge it I thought it stayed low and did skid slightly so would usually suggest it caught the line. Let's see. Well, it did catch a line, the okay. wrong line for Pliska, but that's way out. And a second serve to come here. Oh, yeah. Swats it away. No nonsense. Forehand down the line on the run has been outstanding for Pliskova and also at crucial moments. Osaka feeling like she's hit a great return, getting on top of the point and the ball goes past her. Fault. done with this game just yet and she'd love to seal the set here Judge the momentum coming through the back of the ball there. It's so tough to bring it down in time. on the forehand again. So many of these winners are not the shots you expect to be winners. Okay, Pliskova a little off balance there, but Osaka just letting rip on a ball that dropped just a touch short. It wasn't even a bad shot from Pliskova. Advantage, Lishman. percentage is dropping for Pliskova. It was up at 84% just a couple of games ago. And 67 now, it's still strong overall, but 
does mean that the last couple of games it's been down. Uh, this is uh, a pretty impressive effort from Osaka on this Pliska of a serve, trying desperately to find the break. The ratio of winners to unforced errors from both players is absolutely extraordinary. They, they're basically just hitting winners. And that's it. Either of these players, normally, if they're about even at the end of the set between winners and unforced errors, they'd be pretty happy, but both more than double the winners. Olga Savchuk watching on. game goes on. Well, Saka just a touch lucky there at the end because she did again go back behind Pliskova and again found her hanging out in that corner. Pliskova got a good strike on it, just couldn't quite control the ball to find the pass down the line. And normally players look to really attack the space when playing against Pliskova. Forehand has enough power just to seal the deal. Five games on. Five apiece. Well, it would take a brave person right now to guess where this first set is going. No, really, I just got no idea. Both players have just been on the verge of making a breakthrough. Both players have responded. We've just seen no poor play at all in this match. It has just been quality throughout. Miss Fishwell turned to call, right service line, roll was called in. Let's have a look. I had defended this serve quite well, got it back deep. Follow
delicate hands on the backhand side. It's a really clever shot, that one, actually, because, uh, as I was mentioning, she has been going back behind a lot, and, and you could see the way she set up there. She really wanted to hit that backhand cross court, but Pliskova has been kind of hanging around in that, that corner. So this time, opting to still go cross court, but go with the width, take the pace off, really get her on the stretch. Been such a high quality first set. again and Naomi Osaka does move in front again Osaka leads by six games to five. backhand doing the trick at the last 45 minutes played in this first set so far it's been enthralling So can she take us to a tie break here? Nice start. We went a period of time in this set wondering if we were going to get any sort of breakthrough because with four holds to love in a row, barely any points won on serve and now we've almost got to the point where it's amazing that there hasn't been a break. She 
has been an exceptional level. Both of these players just being so clinical. This has not been a match of mistakes so far. It's just who can maintain the better quality because both of it, both of them are producing such good stuff. Game is gone. Six putting no nonsense timer. as well. It is a tie break we need, and it seems fitting really that this first set does go the distance. It's been outstanding. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens in this break. Will somebody dip? It, it almost seems impossible that this will just be the standard for the, the whole match. I mean, this could be potentially three hours long. Will somebody dip, or will it just be about the person who flashes that brilliant winner at the right time? I don't know we're not there yet, but whoever loses this breaker is going to have a real job at the beginning of the second set to try and just steady the ship because it will be so disappointing to have played this level and not come away with the set. So it's a good marker that the quality is there when both players are seeing winners comfortably outweigh unforced errors. And both these players uh, are achieving that at the moment. Carefully watched. He was so far up the court for that return, just leaning in. Took it so early. Look at that, at least a metre inside the baseline and leaning forward on the ball. Osaka barely had time to land out of that serve. Big strike tennis just at its best, really, isn't it? Both of them doing so well. Look, we're not going to get really long rallies, but just the quality of strike over and over. There's no let up, no breathing room. Well, that's a slight difference from what we saw in the, the first semi final, actually, which was also big strike tennis, but there was a, a little bit more sort of scattergun uh, approach to it. There was more unforced errors from. The two players, Kivita and Keys. So it's just been a bit tighter from uh, both yeah, players.
Big point. Get both these players just absolutely leathering it at each other. Pliskova has stayed entirely calm throughout this set. I mean, both of these players are relatively calm players, aren't they? We do get some negativity and frustration from Osaka, not a lot from Pliskova, but at the right moments, she does get that, uh, that Vosge out, doesn't she? As we just heard her roar there. To squeeze herself over the line. Get this set in the bag, but you've got to feel that even for the person who wins the set, it's a long journey to the finish line. Just another glorious point put together by Naomi Osaka this time. She really got the racket head speed going on the wide forehands. And as soon as she got Pliskova right out on the stretch, she was charging up the court to finish. This is magnificent. And Osaka has just taken it to another level here. It's, it's tough to know who to praise, really. OK, Osaka won the point, but I mean, Pliskova was soaking up so much heat from Osaka, corner to corner. She just couldn't maintain the balance in the end. It, it did get a bit too much. Right. It's going to be challenged here by Pliskova. You can hear Osaka celebrating. She's thinking and hoping it's in. It is. For Osaka. Osaka moving to set points with that double fault from Pluskova. I can't believe it. It's just one blink. That's all it has taken. She's come up with the drop shot. Her first one of the match, set point down after a double fault. That is bold, but brilliantly executed.
It is still set point and behind the serve now. And Pliskova says not so fast. They'll change ends again. Six games all, six points all. These two are serving up a feast. Just that extra little bit of zip on that forehand cross. And it forced Osaka to hit the ball very late because she's already dealing with so much pace. And when you just get that extra couple of percent on, it just becomes a, a little too hot to handle. But what a break of this has been. Okay, right, you can see Pliskova, she's blinked once with that double fault. Everything else has been top quality. Who will blink again? I just think that's what it's going to take to get over the line here. will get another chance as she has a joke with herself. Set point number three. Seven. Still no. Nicely done from Pliskova well with the serve the, the next shot didn't go for too much did well to get right underneath it just made short still of course with a huge amount of pace and now it's Pliskova's turn to have set point in this breaker It's a ninth ace of the set for Osaka. <laughs> Few oohs and ahs from the crowd with that net court, but Osaka Nine smashes eight. it away Osaka. for another set point. Pliskova just couldn't manipulate her racket in time to find anything better than that, unfortunately. And it was not good enough, a pretty simple finish for Osaka in the end. But set points down and two huge first serves. That'll do nicely. Courts are coming into play now. Nine all. Well, we've had one go either way. I didn't actually consider that as a way to finish this set because you're just thinking, how is this going to end? Which way is it going to go? Maybe a net court will be the decisive factor. Well, early on in 2020, I think this is the, the best set of WTA tennis of the decade. Oh, it's got to be, hasn't <laughs> so it? So far. It's got to be. <laughs> An early contender. Nice to see a match-up of uh, this ranking of player as well. You know, top five players going at it, producing some of their best tennis so early on. Where's it going to end up? Some nervous coaches watching on. Ten, nine, 
was an opportunity. It wasn't the best placed serve from Pliskova right into the slot on the forehand. Osaka just lifting her head a touch and in turn lifting the ball out the back of the court. That's a let off. 11, 10. Well, potentially was there to be put away by Pliskova. I'm fairly certain at the, end, at the end of this set we're going to get some coaching chats and I'm very intrigued to see what the feeling is in either camp. I haven't seen any giveaway. This time, Naomi Osaka can celebrate. As she just edges a supreme set of tennis here in Brisbane. It is high quality, and Osaka says, I'm having this. Great job. Sorry, for what? So, yeah, it was beautiful. Right? Yeah. Well, I think the longer the set was going, you were getting more grip on our on our serve, still, right? The game you were on that side, what was it like? 5-4, right? So, I feel like you keep doing what you are doing. Yeah? And you have been adjusting very well. I wrote a few things down, but then, like, two balls later, you were doing that. Especially, like, if you have, like, a slower ball in your forehand to go down the line a bit quicker. But that's what you already did. Keep... So... Also, like in the the tie when you play the backhand cross rally, you know, like you don't have to really be afraid to go and go down the line big. So keep building in that cross until you have the right ball to go down the line. Right. But outside of that, like now just keep doing what you're doing. Follow your intuition. You're doing absolutely the things right. Yeah, it's uh, it's an excellent set. I haven't seen too many, no. No, so you don't have to count on them. You, need, you don't need unforced errors. Right? You keep building. Yeah? Just keep doing what you're doing. Same mentality. Yes, everything's the same. Let's go. All right. Mm -hmm. Went for set coming out of the court to same chat with Naomi Osaka. Yeah, she has shown guts to come through that opening set what can Pliskova come up with here the defending champion that will hurt losing such a, a close set ah. yeah, interesting that Pliskova didn't call Olga Savchuk out onto court to have a chat I can only imagine it's because she knows she did everything right apart from win the set that was the only thing going and the only thing she possibly could have changed, really. Lovely. 
said at the beginning of this second set was going to be crucial for whoever lost the first. Not the best start for Pushkova here. Osaka looking to pounce already. chat that Osaka had with, with Coach Wim for set really fascinating uh, Osaka almost double checking she wasn't entirely sure saying she's playing really well right <laughs> <laughs> this is a good match I think so she's barely hitting unforced errors yeah, it's probably quite tough to assess things when you're right in the thick yeah. of it that's why you have a coach it's like having a video camera a different pair of eyes give you a different perspective when you have all of that emotion She's got to channel something here because uh, we've had no breaks of serve so far. Swatted away with disdain. So such resilience. Boy, has she grown as a competitor over the years as well. We've always known about the weapons since day one of her being on the tour. This will be quite a statement if she can find uh, an early break it. Yes. She's really going for it on return. Anything that's in the slot. She was talking to her coach about how she's been struggling with the serve. She's been trying to move around, do different things. And really, the advice is to just go for it whenever she feels like she does get that strike, that opportunity. And sometimes that's going to happen. Finds a good serve. First game, second serve. One of the strengths of uh, Carolina Pliskova, she does remain pretty measured out there on court. She doesn't fully allow things to, to get on top of her. Yeah, and look at these stats, just uh, absolutely extraordinary. Barely any unforced errors, so many winners just flying around. And that really was the feel of the match. Excellent serving, of course, no breaks of serve, but plenty of breakpoint opportunities. Both these players really getting stuck in, but those numbers are pretty much perfect. <laughs> Either of these players could only really dream of those numbers, I think, going into any match and think, if I can do that, then for sure I'm winning the set. But unfortunately for Pliskova, she's come up empty-handed.
No problem with the uh, the aces so far today. Clear thoughts from Pliskova. This is great to see. Drop shot again. She's hit twice now. One set point down in the first. Incredibly bold play. Yeah, okay, a far less crucial point, but brilliantly executed once again. Both times winning the point. Well, having been under some pressure herself, Pliskova, in the opening service game. She's now applying it right back to Osaka. Two big serves. Answers the questions. One game. I'm running out of things to say about this match because every game, every moment is just almost more impressive than the last. I thought it would have peaked at the tie break, but again, early stage of the second. This is where it's now really impressive mentally from Pliskova to be really resilient, then pile pressure on Osaka in that game. She's got to go again here with the serve. As the air is creeping in now for Pliskova, maybe, I mean, there's got to be a bit of fatigue after that first set. I mean, not necessarily physically, these all right, incredible athletes out here, but you know, just mentally, the demand. Watch. Carefully done.
He can rush that one a touch. Wanted to take it early, but just hadn't quite got a racket ar around the full swing. Break points. Let person. These papers are just slipping on by. It's amazing though, isn't it? How they're, they're stepping up under pressure again. Just relentless aggression from Pliskova. spending most of this match thinking something's got to give but I mean the experience the caliber of the, these players maybe nothing will maybe this will just be hit for the whole match and what a treat that will be Advantage. hasn't had a dip at the beginning of this second set looks completely unfazed by losing the first. I, I think you're right, Mikey. It, it had to have hurt, surely. No glimpse of it, though. Oh. Uh, Pliskova. That is uh, a really big hold. And immediately she does call for Olga Savchuk to scamper out onto court. Leads 2-1. Good game. Okay, so first set is a history. It's two more sets to go. So energy up every point. And every chance you have, go more down the line. That's how you're going to win this match. More down the line. It's too much. To go back to. I know, she, she goes really low, but try to change. First set, you go, risk. And on the return, on the first serve, change the position. Uh, either go like two meters back, then go in. So she always. Uh, see it, you know, and, and, and thinking. And on the second serve, stay always behind, uh, give yourself more space. And just swing the second serve, just go for it, really. Pick the target, big target, and, and, and feel free. Even if you miss, it's okay, just play relaxed. And uh, down the line is the key. But really, first set is a history, so it doesn't exist. Now it's 2 1, come on, two more sets to go. Don't allow yourself to go flat, okay? Yes. Fight like animal. Yes. Come on. Both players have had chances at the start of this second set to grab a valuable break. Pliskova having a, a coaching consultation. The last changeover. Olga Savchuk coming on. The main message was the key is in the down the line. 
that is what will win you this match. That's the difference. 30, just saying, she's sitting in the cross a, a little too often. Osaka just a, a bit more comfortable. And I, I think she's right in the fact that the uh, cross court exchanges, Osaka has just got right into that corner, getting that racket head speed going. Olga told her to fight like an animal. And Pliskova said, OK. So that's concerning for Osaka. Good thing <laughs> she doesn't know that's about to happen. Mm. On to level terms, two apiece. Normally, in a match like this where we've had no breaks and both of these players serving so well, you would think, okay, if somebody can get the break in this set, then really there's kind of no looking back, is there? That'll be the, the crucial breakthrough and they'll be able to wrap it up. But I'm not even so sure about that. Both players have had so many breakpoint opportunities. Five for Osaka, four for Pliskova. And th they're almost being thrown right back, aren't they? One has opportunities in one game, and so the other does in the next. And it's kind of coming in two, so I wouldn't really be surprised if somebody did get the break back. I think some dissenting voices from the crowd and Osaka tempted into challenging. Called out. And that's why there were some murmurings, because it was catching the line. And that's exactly what the coaching team will be looking for. Of course, Olga Sapchuk coming on court saying hit the ball down the line. Danny Valverde, of course, will be happy with that. Gets her nose in front again. Please Almost an hour and a half played. It has been enthralling from start to finish so far. And Osaka will look to try and level things up.
And a reminder, the winner of this one will head on through to the final tomorrow to take on Madison Keys, who won her semi-final earlier oh. against Petra Kvitova. Pliskov is going to be focusing on going down the line a little more, but she's just got to be a touch careful to not pull that trigger at the wrong moment. It can be tempting. And going down the line, it is higher risk. She does it very well. It's all about the selection, though. And this is where you know it's about how players use their on-court coaching chats. You can't just blindly then just start hitting everything down the line and thinking, okay, that's the key to the match. It's not going to work at all. You still have to make all of the decisions yourself and decide how to apply the information you've been told because this is an entirely open sport, isn't it? It's not a closed sport where you're just getting on with your own thing. You have to react. Every point is different. She might not get an opportunity to go down the line for a couple of games. You don't know. She just made it, yep. 13, 15. Tipping in time. Serving so well. And as we continue on our merry way with health service games. You know, we just haven't seen an awful lot of frustration from either player through this match as well. I don't know whether that's because they both just recognize that this is a high quality match or that they know that they're playing a player capable of huge winners and aces, but Osaka's done really well to keep her emotions in check. Wouldn't really expect anything less from Pliskova. She stays very calm, but sometimes her sign that she's frustrated is just when that intensity dips a touch. It's just effortless. The one-two punch from Pliskova has just looked easy. Osaka can't get the return out of the middle. The, the serve is placed too well. It's too difficult for her to find the width. Come 
Oh, yeah. 15, 13. I think she just senses this might be a moment. Taken away. Yeah. Expression has not changed from Pluskova. Love that focus about her. And I mentioned about the frustrations and it's a, it is impressive because, you know, Saka, she's played so well. She just cannot shake Pliskova off. She looks the calmest in this match that she has done all week, actually. Oh. Well, I think it's, it's worth a challenge, at least. I mean, it was a, a big serve down the tee. Is it catching the line? Yeah, it is. It's a good one. And Plishkova has held. <laughs> she wasn't entirely sure. But she does lead the way. Now the crowd enjoying the music at the change events, the crowd enjoying this tennis as well. It has been a blockbuster. More winners, in case you haven't had enough. They're going to keep coming. Extraordinary numbers. Once again in this set, winners completely outweighing unforced errors for both players.
15, 15. That one just a little in the slot. Just sort of lapping it up. What a surf to find, and it's that sort of quality we've seen when the back is against the wall, coming up with a, a big serve like that. Such a good return, catching Osaka off guard, just using all the pace against her. Just a slightly softer wrist, which allowed her to break it in, into the inside of the ball. on to level terms as these two continue Four to push each seven. other all the way well, they're out here quite simply trying to prove who the better player is and I wonder how many notes win for set has written down that notebook must be full by <laughs> now through this match there's an awful lot going on and I bet so much of it is positive Just a bit of extra depth on that big strike there from Osaka. Yeah, she was looking for the down the line shot, but just didn't quite get enough width on the ball. Such fine margins this match is being played with. Everything just has to be perfect. Give any inch and the opponent is just taking it. Thirty fifteen.
40-50. Part of the money. There's only actually eight matches for Plish eight aces for Plishkovic in the match. It feels like more than that. I mean, there have been a lot of unreturnables and a, an awful lot of one-two punches. Game well, Pliskova is asking all Here's sorts of questions here of oh, Naomi Osaka. And once again, the Japanese star will have to step up to the line and try and level things up. Can she keep on finding the quality? Solid. You know, we've not had an awful lot of net play all round. Ten points, one at the net for Pliskova. Out of ten, 100%. Just two of three for Osaka, but I think that's because the point's just been over so quickly. There's no real time to come forward. We've seen 71 winners, all in all. I love that sir. Takes a little bit of pace off. But just effortless. It's been really effective, that sliding serve. She's taking that pace, obviously saying, Mikey, really helps just to get that extra bit of swing and angle. Oh. Found a lot of her races in that direction. I tell you what, with it, all the pressure on her shoulders, that is a five phenomenal games. game from Osaka. It's five apiece as her team watches on. They've got to be so proud of how she's performing out here. Yeah, I would say that they're just enjoying it, but I know that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you're in the camp, it's not the most enjoyable thing to to watch the match, no matter how well your charge is playing. Oh. 
Wow. Love the king. Takes quite a few punches to get through, but three big ones there on the forehand side. Just that central shot from Pliskova drop, dropping a touch short. She's got another. 15, 15. In the zone. She's gone to another gear here. This is hitting from another planet. Well, I wasn't sure it was possible, but she has absolutely found it. She has just been faced with so much resilience from Pliskova. She has no choice, does she? She's got to up it, got to do something, force her way through. Still a break point. Oh. Wow. A double fault at the worst time possible. And Naomi Osaka might just make a break for it. She will serve for a place in the final. Well, they're up on their feet. They're trying to get behind her. Love 15. And once again, Pliskin firing right back. It wasn't a bad serve from Osaka, and it was just right underneath her toes. She was completely tucked up there. Nails it. Love the
Well, in the last game, Osaka upped her level to get the breakthrough. She had to play better. This is the fabulous level we've seen throughout the match. And I think she needs to find that level once again if she wants to get over the line. That's a big point from her. Thank you, thank you. High quality point all round. Good pick up from Osaka. Just not trying to do too much. Probably maybe a touch tentative. <laughs> she just wanted it to go away. Big reaction from Osaka. Two excellent points put together in a row. And it's match point for a place in the final. Yes. Not quite yet. Big stroke in the backhand from Pliskova. Pace and depth. Socket. She's dealt with it well. That time it was too much. How much does it take to get Very through nice. Pliskova? What defence. Right on that last shot, she just leant over into that corner, didn't she? Did well picking up this back behind, got it back relatively deep. And you can just see she shifted the shoulders. Osaka would have seen that, felt the pressure on the shot. Not pulling up, and now we can see some of the emotion on the face of Osaka. Missed it. Game. It's a tie break we need. <laughs> Pliskova hangs Six tough. Games tie break. Both players this match has just had challenge. everything. We thought it had everything apart from a break of serve. Now we've had a couple back to back. And that has been the theme of this match. It's been the response. One player says, right, I'm making a move. I'm playing at this level. The other player says, OK, I'm coming with you. Yeah. No problem. It's been absolutely outstanding. Oh, Pliskova just cannot miss at the moment, and Osaka, well, just starting to overpress. 
And what a sensible play there from Plishkovic, just thumping it down the middle, saying to Osaka, go on then. She's heard the screams. She's seen the frustration at the other end of the court. She's finally got a little crack in the uh, persona of Osaka. Asking her all the questions now, but it is still big striking. Just down. Quickly challenged by Pliskova. The ball was called out. Call sense. Two one. Pliskova. Miss Pliskova has three challenges remaining. Super back there. And still, between these two, we just have it. A phenomenal amount of winners. This is such a mental challenge for Osaka. She's got to keep it together here. She's going to challenge this, but it did look like it, it drifted long. She really was not in a great position for it. You could see her trying to move her shoulders as she hit the shot, create more space. She's been so good with that. It's been completely on point. Comfortably out. Sense. Maybe just Four the two. frustrations. This as clearly as she was. Mirza Osaka has three challenges remaining. And down the other end, you've got Pliskova thumping it, barely missing. Yeah, you've got to say that Karolina Pliskova has just upped her game big time in the last 10 minutes, and what a, a crucial 10 minutes. Monster hitting from Karolina Pliskova. And she is determined to take this one the distance. Good catch in the crowd. Left person. Chatting away to herself.
trying to find the answers. on that. Osaka was looking to come forward. The ball just zipped right through at her. Away it goes. Game in second set. This one going the distance. By seven games to six, one set on. It's been a ripping encounter so far. And quite right, it should go three. Thank you. 
Well, it's raining outside right now. Of course, we do have the, the roof that allows us to, uh, to carry on undisturbed. Time. A penny for the thoughts of Naomi Osaka right now. I would imagine that uh, they're not entirely positive. Seats making, please, Very and frustrated and worked up at the end of that set. Change the kit, refreshed. At least they both know there's only one set left. It's a complete shootout. Final set, Osaka Kiso. So it is a third set shootout we require as the rain falls in Brisbane. Pliskova was just finding so many winners at the end of that second set, and well, it looks like she's picked up where she left off. Her timing is just phenomenal tonight. You can hear the rain. My goodness, wow. it is it is heavy outside. Love this. She isn't quite reset and refreshed for this final set. Still, there's negative thoughts hanging around. So important for her to just keep a grip of her emotions. We know that the anxieties, the pressure, the nerves really got to her throughout the 2019 season. She's talked about how one of the issues was focusing so much on continuing the winning run that she was on that when it came to an end she was pretty devastated gets it done new balls please ball change uh, please give up finds the breakthrough right away you talk about winning runs Osaka looking to continue a career best 14 match win streak that she's on at the moment. Yeah, when you're in this sort of situation where she was so close to winning the match, match point up, remember, uh, and it, it looked like things were going to go her way and ended up losing that second set, now finds herself in the third against somebody who was playing some of the best tennis we've seen from them. You can understand that it, you know, she's not reacting. Uh, not being able to forget about it quickly but I mean look at those numbers again pretty perfect absolutely extraordinary barely any unforced errors for Pliskova again in the second set I don't really expect that to change left passer Needs to find her way again quickly.
Third, it's just know. such a brutal scoring system, isn't it? With snakes and ladders all the way through. She was one point away from winning the match. Now she's 24 points away from winning the match. At a minimum, probably more. And it's just amazing. I mean, it, you know, we say that she needs to keep it together mentally. 30, it was extraordinarily <laughs> difficult. So just the way that Pliskova is, is playing. Okay, Osaka had her opportunity to put her away. Will she get another one? I mean, maybe not. Pliskova may not allow it. 40, 50. As she looks to keep up this relentless serving. Two games it's the first time that we've had any distance between the two of them in, in score. First time we've had any rain this week, pouring down. And there are some seats which <laughs> aren't covered. It's not, it's not a complete roof, it's no. more of a canopy. Yeah, yeah. It covers the main court, <laughs> most of the crowd. Uh, uh, open areas Lovely. for the most part we're in good shape the players are covered there we go some of those sitting further back will be uh, having a bit of a sprinkling Body language, not great for Osaka. You know, this is really crucial for Osaka, and even just looking ahead to the rest of the season, she doesn't want the other players to think that there's a weakness here mentally that if you can snatch something away from her really in the tight moments that she might just fall away the amount of confidence that that gives to the rest of the field when they walk out onto court against her afford for that to happen she needs to know that it is a mighty task and she needs her opponents to know that no matter what the situation it is going to be so tough to finish off against her. Saka gets on the board in this deciding set, and she does Mitchell call win for set out onto two. court. This could be an interesting chat. Towel on the head, 2 1 down. All right, do you want to speak or you want to listen? Listen? Okay. So, I think also second set you played, you did the things really good, Naomi. Yeah. Losing the game at 6 5. Uh, was not really uh, because of you. She played a very, very good return game there. You made two small errors, but that happens. Yeah, but you took that frustration, which was necessary, into the tiebreak, and that's where you lost the tiebreak. Right. So that's past now. We're in the, we're in the third set. 
We know how strong you are in the third set, and we're right in there, yeah? You work yourself up to the moment that you will get some break points, and you will get break points, yeah? And then you try. If she hits an ace, she hits an ace. But just go back to the, to the real Naomi. You were doing the things absolutely right. Just go back to that calm Naomi, which the Naomi has clarity in her head and uh, that knows what she's doing. Just, again, trust, trust what you're doing. You were doing the things absolutely right. And your chances will come. Yeah? We're gonna win this one, you know that. Mia Splitkova turning the call on the left baseline. The it's going to be challenged here. It's out. Good challenge by Blitzkiver. So a fairly positive chat between uh, Osaka and Winforset, well very much from Winforset's point of view, Osaka didn't really say an awful lot, had her head covered in the towel, just wanted to listen to what her coach had to say. Carefully watched. Well, really, he, he just said, look, the reason you lost that tiebreak is because you let the frustrations carry on into the tiebreak, the frustration of not winning the set when you had the match point, when you got a little tentative there on that particular moment. So that was a bit unnecessary. Game, Fishkova. And we talk about contenders for the... Aussie Open title, these two of course will be right there in amongst it. Bianca Andreescu we thought might be, but we uh, have just got some news on Twitter from Bianca Andreescu's personal Twitter that she has had to withdraw from the Australian Open. Unfortunately it has come too soon in my rehab process, she says, and I sadly will not be able to play in it this year. It was a very tough decision to make as I love to play in Melbourne. I have to respect the uh, recuperation plan for my knee and body. I can't wait to come back to Australia soon. So it's uh, a shame for Andrescu and fans of the Canadian. That she will not be at the Australian Open Thank this year. Yeah, that's a big blow. One of the contenders, one of the Grand Slam champs from 2020. She had difficulties with that knee at the back end of the year. Just maybe needs a little bit more time. Got injured at the uh, WTA Finals in Shenzhen. Clearly, rehab going well, she says, but uh, not quite back to, to full force just yet. Fifteen on. Fifteen, 
Sergio. Wants to just try and keep pace here. I'll put away. Advantage, Still Pliskovic just making her play one more ball. It was tough right down the middle, pretty much on the baseline. Pliskovic having to contact it behind her, but she's just got that feel today, hasn't she? Just always finding the court. Just staying clipping at the heels of Karolina Pliskova, who still does have that break of serve in her pocket. 3 2. Love Any slip up from Pliskova and you feel Osaka will absolutely pounce. Business now. Body language looking much better. So I think that little slump at the end of the second has come to 
an end, which is good news for her. And she did give up a break in that little section, little run of play there. So she does have some work to do. Got to play some catch up, but she's more than capable of it. And she did well just to keep it to that one break because she was looking quite negative at one point. Eight points galore. Fifteen cotton. Just got a little stuck there. Reminiscent of the match point we saw from her in the second set, which got a little tentative on her own serve. Needs to really step up and go for it in the big moments. No more opportunities, though. This is what she can do, though. She can just shut down break point chances so well. of a responding. Oh, it looks like the love 40 point, that second serve return that she had, was really the only opportunity she was going to get in this game. I don't know if she can turn things around here, but Pliskova looks like she's on a march. That's where it's so important to really just take anything that you get. It's such a tight match. Wow. What a gutsy hold. After being Love 40 down. By four games to two. That's a fabulous game from Pliskova from that situation. Did exactly what she needed to do, even those two second serves. That one there again into that backhand side. Not a huge amount of pace on it. And Osaka getting stuck with her feet. Love thirty. Well, we see another negative response from Osaka to having the opportunities, being so close to getting where she wants to be and then having it taken away by the quality play from Pliskova. It has been a, a battle, two and a half hours, which has so often tested the mental strength of these two. 
different moments, different propositions. Oh! It's been Love a test in concentration, focus, in belief. And I have to say, Pliskova has been pretty measured throughout, even after losing that tight first set. How's that for a game? Carolina Pliskova might just have had enough of this now. Leads the way, So for a place in the final. Let's go, serving for the match. 15 She wants to finish this in style, and it's a performance worthy of it, isn't it? It's just been a fabulous match for the Czech. Cannot underestimate world number two. Mesa Saka's challenge the call on the right. It's going to be challenged. The ball was called in. Is this catch the line? Yeah, it's on the line. Call sends. 14-15. Mesa Saka has two challenges remaining. What a match it's been. That's a tie a bow on it. Match points. Oh! oh. <laughs> May just have been heading wide, but the, the net cord dragging it back into contention. She thought that was going out one way or another. That's why she didn't even make a move. Ah! 
Not done yet, you know. Osaka not going away in a hurry. Such a great strike there on the cross court. It had width, it had depth, it had pace. It couldn't have asked for more and, of course, got herself a short ball. Forehand into the open space. It's a break point, Osaka. Oh, we've seen some huge shots from Osaka, but I think this serving from Pliskova has just got a little tentative. We've seen a few in a row in the slot now. Olga Savchuk, Danny Valverde, living every shot, every point, every moment. It's a sixth double fault for Pliskova. She has hit 16 aces. to be this time. Right yeah, the down the line shot has done an awful lot of damage for both of these players through the match because the strike is so big and going down the line it's a much shorter distance for the ball to travel it's caused the uh, retriever an awful lot of problems just trying to track it down in time away in style. And really smart to mix up the serve there. We've seen a couple of big wide ones swinging it down the tee this time. Point again. Game, set, match. The title defense is one. still seven, seven, on. Six, six, for Karolina Pliskova. 
but how deep she had to dig tonight. Naomi Osaka pushing her all the way. Osaka had match point herself in the second set, but it wasn't quite to be for the Japanese star as the Czech moves on. And what a final we have in store tomorrow, but Naomi Cavaday, what a semi-final we've just seen. Oh, it was just fabulous. It was power play at the absolute best. If you like your strong servers, your big hitters, and we've got plenty of them at WJ Tour. Well, here are two of the best, and they perform so, so well. I think this result and how this match unfolded is actually very important for both of these players moving forward in the season. The way that Osaka fell away in that third set, other players are going to latch on to that when they play against her, take confidence and heart from it. And for Pliskova, the resilience that she's shown, if she's not going to flinch in matches from now on, well, that is scary for the rest of the field. Yeah, some unwavering hitting from Pliskova. Great serving, great amount of winners. And let's just get her thoughts. Carolina, congratulations. Your third final here in Brisbane. Can we start calling Brisbane your second home? Yes, maybe slowly. Uh, no, always a pleasure to play on this court. And I think today was uh, one of the best matches that I played on this court. And uh, maybe even longest, I'm not sure. But I think it was a great tennis. And, you know, she's always tough to play. We had some good matches in the past. And it's uh, about small chances. But I think I did a great job to stay after the tough first set in the second. And uh, just kept fighting. And uh, it paid off. Well, it was an epic battle in all sets. You had two set points in that first set and you weren't able to convert. You saved a match point in the second set. How did you get through that, not only physically but mentally as well? Well, it was tough because uh, the first set was quite long, so uh, maybe in the beginning of the second set I was a little bit down, but still, uh, it was just one set, so I still wanted to try to fight. And uh, I know with her it can be sometimes up and down, but she can serve amazing, which she did in the first set tiebreak, so there was not many chances for me. But second set, I was a little bit lucky, of course, on a match point, but I think I did a great job to stay in. You sure did. And moving on to tomorrow, you're up against a tough opponent, Madison Keys, who you've actually never played before. What are your initial thoughts on that one? Yeah, actually, that's strange. I think uh, Madison is uh, the only one which, uh, from the top players which I never played, so it's going to be interesting. And, but I saw her playing many times, uh, so for sure it's going to be a great match and we can both enjoy. It's a quick turnaround, only a few hours until you're back on court. What's the plan from now until tomorrow? When is the final? Uh, not before 2 p.m. That's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I tried to sleep, but yesterday I went pretty late too. But uh, today I just enjoy uh, this win. And then, of course, tomorrow I do my best to, to win the last one. Well, we can't wait to see you back on court tomorrow. Go get some rest and we'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Carolina.